Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make Gajar Halwa or Gajar Halwa. This delicacy is quite famous in Indian subcontinent and is quintessential dessert for winter season. This hot sugary delight is a perfect companion of chilly winter weather. One among the best Indian dessert hands down. So let's get started. For making this winter delight I have taken 1 kg grated carrot. Make sure to take red carrots, not the orange ones, because red carrots are crunchy and taste best. And ghee or clarified butter around 150 grams or half a cup. Milk 250 ml or 1 cup. Sugar around 150 grams. Koya or solidified milk, I have roughly taken around 3 tablespoons. Khoya is optional, you can skip it also. But if you are not using Khoya, then you have to add extra milk or if you are using condensed milk, then you have to use more milk. And dry fruits, I have taken almonds, cashews and walnuts that I'll chop later and use. Khoya and nuts are optional, you can skip them. And I have taken around 2 pints of cardamom powder or you can use few, a few cardamoms for flavor. Now moving to recipe, in a pan I have heated up milk. Once it starts to boil, I will add grated carrots. Mix properly and then add green cardamom powder or green cardamoms, whatever you are taking. The main purpose of this step is to soften the carrots. We have to cook them, but carrots should not lose its texture. So for first 5 minutes, I'll keep it on low flame and then keep it on high flame for around 5 minutes. Till all the milk is absorbed. and I'll check the softness so here they are soft and one more thing if you are not taking khoya or condensed milk then you have to take around half a liter of milk for 1 kg of carrots once all the milk is reduced I'll add sugar mix and sugar will melt and release water here the flame is between medium to high keep stirring in between till it's absorbed meanwhile I will heat up ghee and I am saving a teaspoon of ghee that we will use later and it will give extra flavor once ghee is hot I'll add chopped dry fruits you can chop the dry fruits the way you want this is an optional step but sauteing dry fruits in ghee enhance the flavor. Once they are sauteed properly, I'll add this hot ghee and nuts to carrots and keep on low flame till it starts to separate from ghee. Keep stirring in between and keep on low flame till the ghee is visible. After around 5 minutes on low flame, ghee is visible. Now I'll add the save teaspoon of ghee mix and let it melt and turn off the flame adding ghee at this stage is optional but it makes it flavorful now I have turned off the flame and I'll add grated khoya here again I'm saving a tablespoon of grated khoya for garnishing mix properly it will melt Now I'll show you how to plate it out. So here I'll plate it out like this and it's ready to serve. Serve it hot as a dessert. It can be served like this or garnished with some extra nuts and khoya. Now I'll show you how to garnish it with khoya. Now I'll add grated khoya for garnishing as it's sold in markets with khoya here our super easy and divine gajar halwa is ready it's rich and flavorful and tastes amazing with khoya give it a try and let me know in comments how it turns thank you for watching have a nice day